Well, cases like Hempel's used to be common during the Cold War. Much of that espionage in our world died down when the Soviet Union collapsed. But now, as the CBC's Nick Spicer reports, the spy business is a growing industry in Russia. It's not the latest James Bond flick. Just Russian President Vladimir Putin dropping in to open a brand new half a billion dollar spy center outside of Moscow. It seems that everywhere you look these days, cloak and dagger Russia is making a comeback. She was arrested at the time, red-handed. It's a big change. Out for a stroll in Gorky Park, this one-time KGB colonel remembers the old days. But he also remembers the pride and prestige of working for the KGB disappearing overnight, along with communism. Everybody was, you know, obeying you when you show your credentials. And after that, KGB is the monster who you know, was dismissed or destroyed with the USSR. And now the intelligence services are being rebuilt with oil and gas money thanks to President Vladimir Putin. Not surprising, perhaps, because he was once a KGB operative in East Germany. Today's spies aren't only hard at work overseas, they're also very active here in Russia. Too active, according to some. Yevgenia Albats has been writing about Russia's spies since Soviet times. She says now they're even more powerful running state-owned companies and government ministries and reporting only to Putin. The former KGB agencies are, are the most powerful forces in current Russia now. And those forces are run by the top executive of this country without any check and balances from the side either of the public or parliament or anybody else. But the public seems more interested in the fictional feats of the latest James Bond than the possible real threat to democracy of intelligence operatives running Russia. We live freely and in stability, says this woman, and we don't feel badly about having so many old KGB guys in power. Against this backdrop of public indifference, the spy world's rebirth comes as good news to Stanislav Lukarev. Recently, he was called back to work to train the next generation of Russian spies. Nick Spicer, CBC News, Moscow.